Canvas messages are a great way to connect with students enrolled in your course and their guardians called observers in Canvas. The Canvas messaging feature is a great way to send individual messages of encouragement to students who haven't participated in a bit, or celebrate students who are doing great work, or reach out to guardians to help their students succeed. This is also a great way to ask students if they have any questions. During in-person learning, we always ask those questions in class, but sometimes this kind of gets lost in the virtual classroom. It is a great idea to send students a message inviting them to reply with questions before any summative assessment. You will find your inbox in the global navigation on the left right here. You'll be able to access that regardless of what course that you are in. This is always standard and you can click on your inbox and see if you have any notifications. Now, once you are in here, you can go and we'll see that basically I have all these messages from last semester that are in here. I could look for messages that are just from my global studies students and I will see those so I can then filter out some of the content that is in here. The next box is my inbox. I can also then look to see what I sent as well as some of the other options in here. My unread, my starred, archived, or submission comments. So I'm just going to go back to inbox and I have everything in, that is in here. To compose a message, I'm going to click the little pencil icon. Now I can filter this down by my course or you can just type in the student or staff member's name. If I was going to send a message to Kelsey, I can search for her name that way and give it a subject. Canvas help. I also could decide if I want to send this to multiple people. Let's say I wanted Paula on this message as well. I have two people here. I can click the box to send an individual message to each recipient. I could then type my question in here that is going to go to both of them separately so it is not like it's a group message. Can you help me? Question mark. I can also decide to attach maybe a picture or if I wanted to record a message to them and explain it this way, this will also work. Just like it has in all the other assignments. I can then hit send and this will send to them. Um, the same thing if I was going to talk with a student, I can hit the reply button here and respond here in a threaded type discussion that I have with one of my students. This is a reply all button. As you'll notice, I have a lot of messages over here and it is a really good idea to archive messages from the previous year. So if I wanted to archive all these messages, I can select the ones that I wanted and click this arrow for archiving. Are you sure you want to archive these conversations? And I said, yes. Okay. I could decide to do that or delete other messages here with the delete button is another option that we have. Uh, you'll notice that I just got a message in my inbox over here as well. So if I click back on that, we will see that Kelsey has responded to my message as well. That is what it looks like when you get a notification in your inbox. Uh, under the gear, you have some more options to mark something as unread, to forward, or to SAR any of your messages if that's helpful. This works very similar to email, but it's all contained within Canvas. I can also search for people up here within this area and look for specific messages in my inbox just from Kelsey or that Kelsey was on. So that is your inbox. It's very helpful in different ways to message students and stay within Canvas, especially if students are not checking their email as frequently as you would have desired. One other thing that we want to show you is how you can send messages from your gradebook. When I'm in my gradebook, if I wanted to send a message uh, that, let's say here, Paula did not do this quiz that she was supposed to, I can click on the three dots here and say I want to message students who. And so I have a variety of options. I can say whoever has not submitted yet. In that case, it was Paula. This is who it's going to. The subject says no submission for world religion and Israel test. I can change that, but it's going to be the standard message based on whatever assignment it is. And I can add an additional message as well here. Once I said that, I will hit send message and that will send Paula a message. Now, if there are multiple students who haven't done this, um, that will send to them separately as well. You can also do things. You can say, I want to send an encouraging note to students who have scored above a certain number. Now, I'm the only person in this class, I scored above a one. Uh, I can say, good job on this quiz to students who did this based on whatever assignment that it is. Students that scored less than a certain thing, I can tell them that they can reassess. Um, and those are some things that I can send out right from the gradebook.
So again, here I could message students who, again, those who have not submitted, those who have scored more than, let's say I wanted to see who has scored more than 20, I could send a specific message out to them. So those are some of the cool things that you can do right from your gradebook as you're sending messages using the inbox tool within Canvas.